One of my challenges late last year was to figure out how to color hummingbirds and layer colors on flowers. So in the latest Coloring Chronicle, let's flash back to late 2023 when I colored my first two page spread with flowers and hummingbirds. So I started a page in Flowerscape today and I know that it's not really something of season but I couldn't wait to start coloring. I'm using the Arteza and as much as these are looking all right, I really do like adding blue. I think they really pop that way because I was trying to use, so what is this? It's lavender and aqua blue. And then for the other set, so this is, these are the colors I used here. So I started the dark with amethyst purple. So that's this part right here. And then I colored with this on the outside with the aqua blue. And then I put this lightly over the aqua blue. And look how beautiful that came out. And so for this one, I only used these two together. And they're not horrible, but that's for the top part. But then I tried to insert this color right here, which you could kind of see. This one is lilac. And it's not bad. In fact, these two colors, it actually looks pretty nice too. I mean, we'll see once the, the green is in there. But I'm really impressed with the color layers here. It's just so nice. I need to finish these guys. But up here, it just turned out so lovely. I really like how the the dark of this of this amethyst purple came too. I think it looks better than this. So I'm still learning though. Can't wait to color in these beautiful hummingbirds. I like using uh, like a tannish color with this brown for the pollen. I like the way that looks. Even over here it looks nice instead of using yellow. As I continue to learn how to color blend with Arteza pencils. So this is the colors I really like together. It is typically an emerald color. This one is called forest green and emerald green. I really like these colors together. But I'm sampling these, and I think this is a little bit more realistic. It's a layer of this, which is moss green, and this color on top of that. So it's emerald green on top of it. And I think I like how that looks. So for the next colors, I am still experimenting with different colors on this page. As you can see, it was the same exact blue, but I went darker instead of light. And I think they both came out pretty cool. I really like the darker blue. Yeah, this one's my second favorite, and this one's doable. Now that I'm playing with this 48 set of Artezas, I do want to make sure that I do the colors that the hummingbirds love, which is red, purple, blue, and I, there is a, like a peachy color that they also don't mind, kind of like a peachy red color. Just wanted to play with all these different flowers, figure out some good color codes, and then I'll put them down on a chart so I can reference in the future for Arteza pencils. But it is so exciting to play with these colors, especially since it makes each one individual like their own thing. And also, I think this top area is supposed to be all green, but I thought it'd be prettier with a pop of color, so I'll do the same. But since it's my own coloring book, I can do whatever I like. Really, I'm looking for 120 sets for these because I, I love the Artex pencils a lot because of the Artezas. And don't get me wrong, I love Prismas, but I just like the way these feel in this book in particular, the Flowerscape book by Maggie and Terios. This layer is really nice and doesn't get too smeary. All right, so it's coming along really nicely. Can't wait to get the fuchsia in this one right here. Next up, let's figure out what colors to put for the background. These are the colors. I've got the turquoise teal, and I've got 
wisteria pastel blue and this is a really pretty color i think it's peach and then the last one is cadmium orange light i really like how it's turning out it's a uh, almost got a field look to it which i really like it's just a it didn't look like it was going to be this dark, but I started making it darker. But I really like how it adds some depth to it. And then at some point, I'll take like either a brown or a gray and put them around the edges. So then these guys kind of pop more. It's time to select some colors for the hummingbirds. I'll use the Arteza Metallics for the hummingbirds. Kind of has that look to them. I'll have to do some swatches and make sure I'm putting the colors nicely together. Great. I know I'm being a little crazy, but I'm going to try some jelly rolls. So that was using these three colors. Two jelly rolls and this is the other color. This is good for shading. And this one is the magenta. I think we're going to do them. We will be using those. And then I think I would put, let me see what this is called. Yeah, Art and Fly White Gel. It's so crazy when you're trying something new, but it adds a little texture, huh? Kind of has that style. Hmm. That's better than what I started off with, right? So I've got Art and Fly White Gel, the reddish color Arteza Gel Pen, two of the Jelly Roll Moonlight and process red magenta prismas and then one arteza metallics for the wings i'm considering actually a variety of colors and i'm gonna start on him actually first i am not ashamed it looks all right to me that's phase one phase two okay this phase is done let's do a layer of oh, process red. The process red is added. Now I'm gonna go in with some magenta. Kind of coming along. So next, I kind of want to add some gray in there, like around the edges. Let me do that real quick. Go in with the little hot pink now, just around here and a little bit in here. Whoa, that looks cool. Okay, I'm gonna kind of apple in between the whites and I kind of like that dark right there but I might just add a little bit here not bad I'm totally fine with this I want to add a little dot right by his eye real quick make sure that this is there I think I'm just gonna do the technique to all their faces even if females and males look a little different. And then I'll fill in their beaks too. The beaks are all in. This one, I overdid it on the eyeliner. That one's okay. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> you overdid it, buddy. He kind of has a leopard look to him. It's pretty cool. I used these four. Did this one a little bit lighter than the last one. And I added some markings on him from a distance that look pretty classy. All right, I think I'm done with the hummingbirds. I think they came out pretty cute. I got a little fun with the fine liner, but that should be okay. So now I'm gonna do is add some pop of color around the edges so that way I, there's a little bit of shadow. And that should make things come a little bit more alive. So I think this is good as it's going to get. At some point I might revisit the hummingbird's backgrounds with a highlighter, but better than I thought it would be. I obviously went crazy with the darkness around the hummingbirds because I wanted them to stand out. Still learning how to use the shadows, in my opinion. The tops up here don't really need too much shading, but this part would. These look all fine. Maybe no shading up on top, but maybe down here. Well, I think this came out pretty good. I do think there are some areas to improve, and I hope to apply them in my next color. 
Thanks for joining me in this coloring journey. Until next time.